Hello, and welcome to another Libby video. Today I'd like to discuss how to get holds once they become available. So in the past, when your hold became available in Libby, Libby would automatically check it out for you so that it was ready for you to read. But they discovered that sometimes patrons missed the notice that they were checking out the book, and so they lost some of their time with that book. So Libby has recently updated how it handles holds. Now, when a hold becomes ready, Libby sends you a notice and it gives you a couple of days to come in and decide whether or not you want to check it out right now. So you could check it out immediately or you can ask Libby to hold on to it for a couple of days or a couple of weeks actually and then get that hold for you again. So let's kind of go over what that looks like. So right now I'm just in the main section of Libby. I'm here in the library section of Libby on the MCLS site and I'm going to go over here to where it says shelf. And that's where I can access my holds and my checkouts. So I'm going to go to shelf and you can see right here in the middle it says the wait is over. This book here is ready for me to borrow. And so I have an option right there to borrow. I can manage my hold or I can deliver it later. So if I hit this deliver later option it's going to come in and it's going to ask me when I want to do that. So I'm scheduling the, the delivery of Shades of Grey for later delivery. It automatically sets it to seven days. But the thing is, down here it says you'll get this on September 10th or later, depending on when the next person returns it. So I can choose a number of days here between quite a few and quite a, just a few and quite a lot actually. But that is contingent on what other people are doing. So if I say two days or four days, and then it gives the hold to the next person, I still have to wait for that person to be done reading it. So I may say four days, but it may still be the 21 days before I get it back because that other person may have checked it out for 21 days. So this is how you would pause your hold for a little while. Similar to pausing like physical holds, you can pause these digital holds as well. So if you had a whole bunch of stuff come in all at the same time, because doesn't that always happen where seven books on hold come in at the same time and you're just a little overwhelmed? You can choose to check some of those out, but delay the other ones. So right now I'm not going to delay this hold. So I'm going to go back to shelf over here. And then the other option here is to borrow it. And now this works very similarly to just regularly borrowing it. It's again going to come up and ask how many days I'd like to borrow. I have it set to my default of 21 days. It's reminding me of how many things I have checked out already and how many holds I have. And then again, right down here, it's giving me this little message. Don't have time right now. You can let the next person borrow it and remain at the head of the line. So I could choose to then go in and borrow it. But like it says here, oh yeah, I do have two things checked out right now. Maybe I don't have time to read this just yet. And so I could again tap on these red words down here and it's gonna bring me back to this screen where I can choose maybe give me 14 days, give me two weeks to read what I've got and I can hit this update hold and now I have scheduled it for later delivery. So if I go back to my shelf, it's gonna show me the things I have checked out. So I've got one due in 13 days and one due in 20 days. And if I go up here to this holds option, I can see that I've got this back on hold and it's saying it's going to take about four weeks for that to come in. Now at this point, say it didn't take me as long as, or I, it took me longer than I thought to read the books that I had. I can come back into this manage hold here and I can see where it says delivering later and right now it says September 17. If I tap on that, I can get into this screen again and change that. So say I decided, yeah, let's give me some more time. And I'm going to update that hold again. So there we are. Now I've delayed that hold even farther. And so now it'll be September 30 or later before that hold comes in for me. So this change to Libby just gives you a few more options on how your holds work. But remember, you do only have I think it's three days once you've been notified that a hold is ready for checkout to check it out. If you don't get into Libby or Overdrive in that three days, it's going to give you a one week extension. And then after that, 
I think it's going to cancel the hold for you. So you do have to pay attention to your emails from Libby and, and get in here when things are ready and either check them out or delay the delivery. So hopefully this helped clear up how the holds work in Libby and we'll see you next time.